How many of you feel you lack the confidence to speak in front of a group? Quite a few of you. Did you notice I didn't ask how many of you cannot speak in front of a group? And the reason is simple. Everyone can. And by the end of the seminar, you're going to have the confidence to do it too. Now, if you would, take out that self-assessment page in your packet. I'd like you to evaluate yourself by choosing one of the four choices on the page. And be honest with yourself, because what you choose now is based off on who you were then. What you'll learn today will give you the confidence and the clarity to be a speaker tomorrow. Okay, time's up. How many of you selected a voider? Yeah? It's okay. Your willingness to take that step and be here today was the hardest step of all. And it does get easier from here. Any resistors? Acceptors? How many seekers? Oh, good for you. You see, her being here today shows us all that no matter how knowledgeable we think we are, there is always room to learn more. So let's learn more. Stage fright. Stage fright is actually not all that correct because the fright part begins way before you walk on the stage. Any actor or actress will tell you that opening night of a show is always met with one person in the cast spending a good amount of time in the restroom and seemingly fitting into their costumes a little easier than before. You see, even trained professionals get the butterflies. That feeling when your stomach decided to join the circus as a tumbling act without telling you. So everyone feels it. The difference lies in how we utilize that energy to our advantage. And here are some simple steps that I think are effective and that I use to this day. Breathe. All of us do it and it's automatic. Now let's focus on how to control it. Hyperventilating as defined by Webster's Dictionary is to breathe rapidly or deeply, usually caused by anxiety or panic. Been there? Yeah, me too. Now, how many of you have heard of, of meditation? Pretty much everyone has by now. Western culture's embracement of meditation began in the 1960s. The question is, how many of you do it? You see, at its simplest form, meditation is just a deep breathing exercise. You know what? Okay, everyone right now, take a deep breath in, hold it, and release. One more time, deep breath in, hold it, and release. You're already finding yourself more relaxed and in a state of calm within just a few moments of this deep breathing or meditating exercise. Use this. It works. Number two, know your material. And yes, this should be in here, even though it's a no-brainer. I bet that this is on the top of everyone's list of fears. Forgetting what to say, that, that little voice in your head, you know, what if I forget? What if someone interrupts me in the middle of my speech? What if I forget my notes? You see, I equate that little voice to Mini-Me from Austin Powers. Now, if you remember the movie, it started out with Mini-Me being evil, you know, but when he met Austin Powers, he turned good. It's like that little angel or de devil on your shoulder, that demon. So when in doubt or when that evil mini-me creeps up, use your mojo like Austin Powers and turn it into a positive with affirmations like, I do know the material. I don't need my notes anyway. These aren't just words. You must feel them. Believe them because they're true. Number three, stretch out, warm up, and smile. Now, I suggest getting there early, you know, well prepared, practice your meditation and stretch. Touch your toes or your knees, bend side to side, jump up and down, get the blood flowing, feel good. You were asked to do this presentation. Your, your supervisors, business club, organizations, friends, coworkers, they all have confidence in you. They believe in you and your ability to present the information effectively. So smile. In fact, stand up. Everyone stand up right now. Look at the ceiling. Smile the biggest smile you can. And repeat. I know I'm able to do this. I am confident and knowledgeable. People like me. I like me. Okay, look at me and keep smiling. Feels good, doesn't it? Don't let that mini-me defeat you before the game even begins. Be positive from within, and what emerges is a confident, entertaining, warm-hearted presentation. Make a decision to allow me to join your team, and I will effectively present all your materials with confidence and clarity. Thank you.